Peter Englund's O Fretzer, O M den Svenska Stormax Diden och en man i des mit, takes readers on a gripping journey through the tumultuous era of Sweden's great power period, focusing on the life and experiences of one central figure. England's narrative approach to history offers a rich and insightful exploration of this complex historical epoch. The book begins by immersing the reader in the early 17th century, a period marked by the height of Sweden's imperial ambitions and the chaos of the Thirty Years' War. England expertly sets the stage by providing a detailed overview of the political, social, and cultural context of the time. This contextualization is crucial for readers unfamiliar with the historical backdrop, as it allows them to understand the significance of the events and individuals portrayed in the book. England's choice to center the narrative around a single individual, a man who remains unnamed until later in the book, adds a personal and human dimension to the historical account. This individual, whose identity is revealed to be Carl Eleven, emerges as a pivotal character in Sweden's history. England's decision to withhold Carl She's identity initially keeps readers engaged and curious, encouraging them to delve deeper into the narrative to uncover the central figure's significance. The author's prose is both engaging and informative. England's writing style is accessible, making the complex historical events and political intrigues of the era understandable to a wide range of readers. He skillfully weaves together primary sources, anecdotes, and historical records to reconstruct the past. His ability to bring historical figures to life through vivid descriptions and character sketches enhances the reader's connection to the narrative. One of the book's notable strengths is its exploration of the psychological and emotional aspects of Carl Shee's life and reign. England delves into Carl Shee's personal struggles, including his insecurities and doubts as a young king thrust into a position of immense power and responsibility. This humanization of the central figure allows readers to empathize with his challenges and dilemmas, adding depth to the narrative. England's portrayal of Carl Shee's reign as a time of relentless warfare, political maneuvering, and internal strife paints a vivid picture of the hardships faced by Sweden during the Great Power Era. The author captures the tension and uncertainty of the times, as Sweden grappled with external enemies and internal dissent. England's meticulous research is evident in his descriptions of military campaigns, diplomatic negotiations, and the impact of war on ordinary people. Throughout the book, England also addresses the broader themes of power, leadership, and the consequences of political decisions. He explores the moral dilemmas faced by rulers during times of war and crisis, raising thought-provoking questions about the nature of leadership and the sacrifices required to maintain a nation's position on the world stage. The book's title, O Fretzer, which translates to Years of Misery or Years of Unrest, reflects the overarching theme of suffering and upheaval during the Swedish Great Power Period. England masterfully illustrates the devastating effects of war, famine, and disease on the Swedish population, emphasizing the human cost of the nation's imperial ambitions. As the narrative unfolds, Carl Shee's identity is gradually revealed, and readers gain a deeper understanding of his character and the challenges he faced as a monarch. England's decision to withhold this information until later in the book serves as an effective narrative device, keeping readers engaged and curious about the central figure's identity. In conclusion, O Fretzer, O M den Svenska Stormaxtiden och en man i des mit, by Peter England is a compelling and insightful exploration of Sweden's great power era, brought to life through the lens of a central figure's experiences and struggles. England's accessible writing style, meticulous research, and focus on the human dimension of history make this book a valuable resource for anyone interested in the history of Sweden and the complexities of leadership during times of crisis. 
Through its vivid portrayal of the era's challenges and triumphs, the book leaves a lasting impression on readers, prompting them to reflect on the enduring themes of power, leadership, and the human cost of ambition.